Blender is powerful and free. Substance serves you the best as an industry standard. Quixel Mixer is also free. 3D Coat on the other hand is cheap, powerful and also an industry standard. So now the question boils down to why do I need Mamoset tool bag as a professional or a newbie looking for a great piece of texturing too? If you are a newbie then I guess it's a whole new level of confusion when you begin searching up for texturing and some cheap or free softwares to begin with. There is a texturing tool by name Behoobsy and I hope you've already checked that out really crappy one. Most of these softwares don't really have clarity with their descriptions, so it's really hard to know who they are selling to and what the software is capable of. Everybody is saying their software is the best. Personally, I feel the word best is being abused these days. What do they mean by their software is the best? Your only result is to download the software and try it for yourself to see what they mean by our software is the best. That's why it's always advisable to use a trial version of every software you come across on the internet before throwing your money on it. If there is no trial version to it, then be careful before a two-year-old baby behind a computer scams you. I'm about to break Mamoset 2 back down for anybody considering a new texturing toolkit. Now, who uses Mamoset and why should anyone purchase Mamoset 2 bag? Mamoset 2 bag is advertised as a texturing, baking and a real-time renderer. Now let's take the texturing out because every other software does better than Mamoset when it comes to texturing. Mamoset fanboys can disagree with me, I'm fine with that. Let's rather replace the texturing with lighting. So now per my experience, Mamoset is a baking, lighting and a real-time renderer. And this is the main reason why I would throw my money on Mamoset, not because it can texture, because Blender and Quixel does better at texturing and they are free. Now let's take those features one by one and see why the software deserves your money. Let's begin with baking. First of all, what is texture baking? Texture baking is a process of transferring texture data from one 3D model to another 3D model. Generally speaking, people are doing this when they are trying to take a high poly model and convert it to a low poly model. Here are a few reasons why texture baking is important. Number one is that a lower poly model has less data and therefore is a smaller file size than a higher poly model. Number two is that game engines, web viewers and AR often struggle with processing high poly models. Many social media platforms like Spark AR, Facebook and Instagram's AR filter too and Snapchat also require low poly models in order to create AR experiences using their platforms. Texture baking is a critical skill I would encourage any 3D artist to master. Now, every other texture software bakes, so why is baking in Mamoset a unique feature? Mamoset 2 bag has a GPU accelerated baker which allows you to preview mesh changes and bake project adjustments in real time. Baking and waiting for it to render so you can simply preview is heavily time consuming and that's what every other texture toolkit gives you at the moment except Mamoset thanks to its GPU accelerated baker. Now this is one of the reasons Mamoset is unique. Secondly. Mamoset is powered with an image-based lighting and real-time rendering. So now, what is real-time rendering? Real-time rendering is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Animations that are rendered so quickly they appear to be being generated in absolute real-time. But to fully understand what's really going on under the hood, you need to read more on what we call the graphics rendering pipeline. I won't talk about it because it's nothing important to us at the moment. Real-time rendering is nothing new. Anyone who's picked up a video game controller has experienced it firsthand. The video game industry has been implementing real-time rendering in games for decades, but only recently have designers and architects started using some of those techniques to present their ideas. Now, this is the second reason why Mamoset is unique. Now remember I took texturing out and replaced it with lighting. So now let's discuss the texturing. When it comes to texturing with Mamoset, I would say it's basic. A very good option for beginners but on a more professional level, dudes going for Substance, Mari, Quixel or 3D Code. 
Also, the reason why most people don't do pro texturing in mammal set is because it gets unstable and laggy most often when things begin to get dense or complex within it. So if you are a professional artist looking for a good texturing software, I don't think Mamoset is going to be your number one option. Mamoset would 80% of the time be a complementary software to other softwares because it's been built specially to work seamlessly with other procedural based softwares used by professional game developers and other media house such as VFX or film and television. A couple of complementing softwares are Substance Painter, Quixel, Marie Blender and 3D Code. This means you get a seamless workflow when you have Mamoset attached to any of the softwares mentioned above. Another good reason for using Mamoset will be getting portfolios and live preview presentations done with ease. You are able to make instant changes if there is a call for it by the organization you are previewing the work to, instead of having to render before previewing as you would do in other texturing softwares. That's too much hassle. Quick one here. A lot of people were complaining about rendering transparencies in Mamoset. Example of transparencies are wine glass, light hair, or liquid colored objects. I think it's been fixed because I got the latest trial version, tried it, and there wasn't any issue with rendering transparency. When it comes to pricing, I wouldn't mention it because prices of goods and services keeps changing, especially in this crappy times we live in. I've left a link in the description below to the Mamoset pricing page. You can look up um, later. Mamoset too bad, to my best of knowledge, isn't a complete texturing tool because it lacks other professional texturing features that is heavily relied on within pipelines. It was built specifically targeting ease of use, quick delivery and other reasons already mentioned above. Keep in mind Mamoset would depend heavily on a pretty decent GPU to keep the real-time engine fast and smooth, meaning you would need a good machine. Not a super powerful one, but just a good one. 4 GB VRAM would be basic, 6 GB VRAM and above would be awesome. Someone sent me an email. He asked, do I need to bake before texturing or texture before baking? Okay, so when working on high to low polys, you first need to bake then texture afterwards. Baking and mapping goes hand in hand. So if baking isn't relevant, then it simply means mapping isn't important as well or mapping wouldn't be needed. So just forget about baking and texture if you aren't going to need baking. But if you want to bake from a high to low poly, then it simply means you would have to bake first before texturing. You don't texture first before baking. Okay, I hope you love this video. Peace out.